playing with my intelligence, that's something else. That's that's to be like how they say you can act dumb. Like smart people act dumb, but dumb people can't act smart. I'm fucking brilliant in a lot of senses of, of just what I do in general. So the whole thing is like, even though I'm playing stupid, don't play with my intelligence. Like I'm not, I just, I don't have time for it. You know what I'm saying? That's really dope, man. Really, really dope. Uh, you guys will put um, Reed's information in the show notes. Um, we'll be back shortly. What else did I want to? No, I think that's every. Oh, you the guy. You put, let me just verify this on record. Top five rappers of all time or lyricist Chuck D, KRS-One, AG from Showbiz, Nas, and Jay-Z. Yeah. Top five. It, it- it might, it might, it might, it might. I don't think it's really going to be different next week. Um, and, and you know what's crazy? Uh, Chuck D don't I, even have an album. Huh? That's like putting Black Thought in your top five, in my opinion. Black Thought is nice what? as hell, but he does he can't Why be you, in top five. Who, Chuck D? No, I'm saying Chuck D is like Black Thought. Why you say that? Are you saying you saying he's so nice that you can't put him in the top? You crazy. Yeah, you 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 see you playing now. You playing. Nah, you know Chuck. So you don't think how many albums does he have? Um, he got 30 years worth of albums. Public Enemy has been around for 30 years. How many albums do they have? Maybe 20. They do not have no 20 albums. Public, yo, Public Enemy just dropped the album when when Jay Z's four for four 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 came out. Public Enemy just dropped. You you they they've been making albums every year too. They you got yo type in Public Enemy discography. You'll see like twenty thirty albums. I hope it's not the same album remixed and remastered. No, okay, son. If I you was in front of me, st- don't you, tell me Flavor Flav's still on there. Do not tell me that. Yes, Flavor is still what? in the group. Uh, yeah. They still tour. They still tour and everything. Public Enemy is a Public Enemy is still they they're like one of the greatest rap groups of all time. I've never heard I haven't heard much of them at all. You are not you uh you cuz you tuned in to Caitlyn Jenna and um and all this other nonsense. Public Enemy is still hard. We going to see. I'm a, I'm going to look that up. But you just educated me on something, and I appreciate that. Yep, Public Enemy, still rocking. And they, they, like Chuck D got a couple of solo albums. Um, he got they still. When you type in type type in, like I said, Public Enemy discographies. Chuck D, like I said, got a lot of solo stuff. And and yo, he's still he's still killing them. He got a um, he he did. I forget, the last last solo album he did is um. Just, just look it up. They, they music is still, still dope. All right, we'll see. I'm gonna look it up. I'm still thinking their last album was nine one one's a joke in your old town. Nah, that was twenty thirty years ago. Nah, they, they've been, they still been dropping. Uh, all right, well, and they have, see. they have a, they have a diehard fan base. Like I still cop the these, the records. Vinyl, like so you're they have, they have a, a yeah, hard when new album comes out. You're excited still. You're like, oh, I mean, stop, you... that new Public Enemy about to come out. Do you break it? I when mean, you but play, like, do you play their song when you nah, have parties? No, 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 no. See, see, remember Chuck D's mute like Public Enemy's music is more information. So once once like ninety ninety two, once once ninety one ninety two, even though they lost they lost a lot of uh um as far as they basically still make dope records, but as far as publicly, that's why you didn't even think they still made records. Now when you look at when ninety eight hit, right? You have Public Enemy, that he got game soundtrack, and you got DMX. They came out around the same time. DMX was so much, uh, Dev Jam was so much focused on him that that 
That was Public Enemy's last album. And then remember, Chuck Public Enemy was the first major group to go um to go independent digitally. Chuck was the first rap artist that was promoting MP3s, the internet before it blew up like it did. And people didn't didn't really know what he said twenty years ago that this was the wave of the future. Wow, you about to make me want to listen to some Chuck D. See yeah, not, nah, but that, but that's what I'm saying. So all of the new, all of the newest topics and all the stuff going on now, he still touches on all the latest stuff. I'll think of maybe a couple of records that I, that I'll say, hey, hey, listen to this, 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 and that. They, yo, they still, they still good old Public Enemy, same energy, still touring. He actually, um, I got to chop it up with him a few years ago when he came up here to do a, um. Uh, he did a, a seminar at one of the colleges up here, mm. and I got a chance to um, kick it with him for a while because um, his um, some of his cousins from Harlem, like are my people that I went to school with, so you know we had a, a we, nice long conversation. It was kind of dope. I mean, and what what I think the reason why I stress the whole public enemy thing so much is because that positive influence actually helped with like what I am today as far as education, as far as being positive. I mean, I, I'm still like half ratchet too. I still be on my Stevie J craziness, but the other and righteous. I mean, wait, do you know I who mean, their DJ is? Um, yeah. Um, um, DJ Lord. Do you know who their old DJ was? Terminator X with the flat top. Yo, you, yeah, he's a DJ here in North Carolina every Saturday. Oh, Terminator X? Every Saturday, I go play ping pong and, you know, shoot some pool and all that. And he's there every Saturday. He's a cool guy. Every single Saturday. Yo, I, I met him, I met him, um, I met him like back in the day. Um, like I was told by my boy, he took me to Apollo, um, backstage where we chill with all of them. Um, Kane. Queen Latifah, Naughty by Nature, oh, yeah, young black teenagers, like remember La Kim Shabazz and all of them. It was it was kind of, it was dope. I'm gonna show dope. him this clip that you just remember. I'm gonna show him this clip right here at this moment. But he's there yo, every Saturday. We I just left him last night. We was there last night every Saturday. Yo, you want to hear my you want to hear my Terminator X story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So what happened was this, right? So you got to remember. I'll, if you look through my Instagram, you see I used to have the flat top like the, that was when the flat top was out, right? Uh huh. So this this was like one of my greatest days in hip hop ever. I just made fifteen. It was December twenty second, nineteen ninety, right? My man took me to to the, to to meet Chuck and him. So I got my flavor flavor clock on. I'm looking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I got my little clock on. Flav come in the room. He come check out my clock. He's talking a little bit. So then Terminator X comes in. Now remember, Terminator X only speaks with his hands. That was like, just that was his thing. Never heard him spoke. Yo, when we had a con, I don't, I don't remember the conversation. All I remember was like, Terminator X spoke to me. Like it was the big, it was like this big deal because like he never he never talked. So it was like Terminator X only speaks with his hands, and like the seriousness of because remember back before we had online, we had like um I used to I, yo when I say bought everything they ever put out, they used to have a Public Enemy Fight the Power live VCR tape, mm. right? One day they were in like London or something, and then they said, "So Terminator X, so and so and so." They asked him a question, and he turned around and walked off because they was like, "Yo, he don't really talk." <laughs> so knowing that, like I said, so when I seen him and we like he said a couple of things, I couldn't remember. I was like, "Yo, I spoke to Terminator <laughs> X." Like it was, it, it, it was crazy. Is like, yo, I'm gonna be 42 this month. And even though I'm a grown ass man, it's, it's like I still I think that's one of the things that people really enjoy about my energy is that even though I'm, you got this 400 pound dude that's mad excited and you can see the excitement and, and, and I also give you like a good vibe because sometimes 
Like you might have been having a bad day. You get what I'm saying? No, just talking to me for like a couple of minutes, I'm gonna make you laugh most of the time we on the phone. And then it's like, it kind of makes you forget the day you was having. And it might just be some mad awkward shit. Like you might say something like, yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to you later, I gotta do. And you just <laughs> like, and I'm like, nah, 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 I'm just playing. So it's just, <laughs> but, but you get what I'm saying? So once you, laughter is like the dopest shit. Like you make people feel better. When I was in high school, niggas was like, yo, son, I come to school to hear you joke around all day. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I said a, a comedian is, is somebody that stands on stage and just, you know, says jokes. That, that like I said, that's an avenue. But, yo, once you hit 40, you're like, all right, I, I, I've been doing this shit forever. Let me let me just fucking be a com- Let me just say I'm a comedian. You know what I'm saying? I let me you. say I'm a comedian. So, again, when I did that show a few months ago with Kane and G Rap, I didn't, I didn't do that show based on me being a rapper or me performing with them. Domingo had me go there as a comedian to host an event where I'm like, damn, I would have wanted to rhyme at this show, but... So when you when you choose different avenues, it's like you don't know what avenue that you choose is gonna get you somewhere that you might not have made to that place if it wasn't based on that. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. Also, if they need a host while you rhyme, you know, they could send your boy out. Dental problems don't get better the longer you wait. They just get worse and more expensive. The number one dental plan in America today guarantees to save you 20 to 80% on all dental procedures you can get done in the dental office. Regular teeth cleanings all the way up to cosmetic dentistry. No waiting periods. Contact a benefit consultant immediately to find out what open enrollment specials are available in your state today. 888-674-9409.